So this is a project uh, that's been gone on going for a while. So we had a problem with the algae in the pool, uh, and I'll explain it all to you. But these drums are part of the fourth generation, whatever, fourth plan. The, the getting the algae out, getting the big stuff out, all works well, all the piping's good. The last thing now is the, the paper filtration, so that it's absolutely clear, and you could actually drink the water when it comes out of these barrels. And I'll explain it as I go. So I've got these two barrels from my local scrapyard, who are my neighbours, and they gave them to me. There's the rings there for them. I need another one. So the idea now is I'm going to put a uh, a, uh, a piece of angle line like this, so they're perpendicular to each other, with a crossbar on it, so you can put a, 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 a cross in it. And on top of that will be a plate with loads of holes in it. So, sort of that kind of depth there and then we can put the paper filter on it the paper filter will also come over it's not paper it's kind of paper and fiber but very high micron and it'll come over here and then we put the clip around it the idea is the water goes in here goes through somewhere around here we put a hole in it and it goes straight back into the pond and because it takes a while to filtrate through it the idea is is the pipe coming in here if you like, you'll see it when I show you. Come in here, we'll have an elbow on it that you can turn left, so you can fill this one up, and when it gets too much, you put it, on, put it onto this side. By the time this goes down, this will already be empty, and you just have to do that. It's very basic, but it'll work, and it'll do the job, and we're free. You can't say more than that. So this is our natural swimming pool. This basically is a... Uh, the water comes through that weir there, this is really, really deep. That moving around is the frogs in here, toads. And this is basically uh, very deep sand. Goes through that sand filter and then through filters all the way along the sides. So where the problem came in is, is the algae doesn't sit on top, it sits on the bottom because it's three meters deep. Uh, there's a German company put the liner in for us. Some. Ooh, 15 years ago, I guess, and the water's still as clear. Uh, so basically what we've got is this long extension pole, which has like a vacuum head on the bottom of it. It comes up through this pipe. We then suck the water up into this centrifugal pump, which is what I had originally. So I had this centrifugal set up originally, and we've got a really, really long hose pipe that used to go across there, down the 20 foot, and into a drainage ditch along the back here. But we were losing all the water, uh, and extremely expensive to put water in it unless we get the fire brigade or it rains. Um, so I needed a system that would uh, at least collect 90%, 95, 96, whatever percent of the water back and I looked online, this is a caravan I built a couple of years ago. I had the, I had the wheels and I just made a chassis out and made it look like a gypsy caravan. And uh, so I came up with this idea. This is the mini trailer that we use, but this is the, the blue frame, is it? So the way it works, so the water comes up through here. On here I'm gonna build a stone catcher, because we're getting a few stones from the bottom. I build a stone catcher here, which you can see, and the stones will drop, because they're getting caught in there at the moment. <clears throat> so once you've got it running, the water comes up here from the pool, goes through this plastic, and it goes through these two. Um, and these are basically just two drums. You see, I made rollers for them. So it works. And then it goes through that bigger mesh into these two bowls, um, and then at the bottom there you can see and then from there it goes down through the pipe into the into the drum and then you can see all the crap that's in it now what I've been using is this plastic one but of course moving it around we only need to do it once a year probably two days once a year and it just takes the algae off the bottom so you can see the black liner it's difficult to see it, but you can see it you can see the amount of crap that we get in it. So basically, these, this plastic, which gets broken as we move it, the metal ones will replace that. So you imagine now we'll have one coming out here, 
and then um, I think I'm gonna have to make the frame up a bit more I think I'm gonna have to lift the frame up but that's easy to do I can lift it higher so that this goes on top of the drums but I'll work out what the drum is uh, I don't particularly want to cut the drum because without having the edge on it uh, it'll, it'll weaken it so what I might do is just put some legs on this put six legs on it and just extend it higher then when you want to run it it's very simple you just I shouldn't really do it with water on this but it should be okay I hope uh, I don't know I mean, I'll try it there you go so you can see you can see it turning there so that takes out the big stuff um, and then every now and again every uh, an hour or so you take stop it take the big shit out leave one running but you have them both running and these are the two washing machine motors that came from where these and I got all this scrap of course um, but you can run it from AC or DC and it's just a battery we top the battery up each night as I say it goes through filters through that one comes down the bottom here out the pipe into here and I'll do the same thing again but just turn this from left to right like that onto the onto the drums uh, and uh, yeah and then what comes out of there is pure water because it's a natural pool there's no chemicals in it otherwise we wouldn't have all these frogs and uh, skimmers like you can see there why have you I think we've even got a couple of water snakes harmless of course yeah, I mean, you can literally put a glass uh, a glass under it and you could drink the water out of it. It's that good, it comes out. So we put a bit of this on top of them as well. So that filters out them and then just pull them out every now and again. So we have a massive, big piece. Uh, I don't know where it is. Uh, it's probably put it up down in the garage. And that's, yeah, that's basically how it works. Very little to it. And uh, I think all in all, it's cost me about 300 euros in metal and bits and bobs. Um, and you can see why I want to have that ring on the top instead of those clips. So if it gets too heavy, it doesn't fall into the water, the clean water underneath. So that's how the system works. Um, and I call it, I had a name for it, I had an acronym for it, and I can't remember what it, what it is. It's something like twat or twats or something, which is common word in the UK I think it was uh, something treatment water algae uh, treatment system or something like I can't remember it was a joke just made it up but it works does the job does what I need it to do and we use it as I said once once a year once every 18 months whatever for about two or three days so there wasn't any point in putting a massive amount into it um, it's a bit of Heath Robinson but like I said, it does the job. Now the equivalent for this, that I would need to re-get the water back again, the minimum I could find was 10,000 euros, or around 10, between 10 and 12,000 euros. And it would need to be put into the ground, it would need to be covered, it would need to be cleaned manually. Whereas with this, you just dump the shit. What we do is we bring my, my uh, uh, John Deere tractor along with a, with a tipper on the back, and we put the gunge in it, and we take it down into the two piles we have either end where it's fertilizer. And of course, when it dries, it's pure fertilizer. So it enhances everything. Anyway, so there we are. That's the that's how the system works. There's a couple of fish we've got there. And that's that's it. It's about 650, 660,000 liters. Doesn't look it, I know. But as I said, it's three meters deep from where these edges are here. So these are waist height, both ends. And the rest is three meters right the way across. That's what, nine feet, 10 feet deep. So, um, I'll show you as I build it up and uh, hopefully something might be of interest to you or something you can use or some of the ideas anyway. This is the, this is the idea, we're gonna use this stuff. So I'll cut this around. I've already made one over here. It's not perfectly round, but it doesn't need to be. As long as it supports the weight of the uh, of the of the, uh, the paper and the so you can see that's not in yet but that's the way it will look when it's in so I'll make I've got there that's the right side there so I've got already made the, the two pieces for it over here so they will 
it under there like that. Wherever that height is. Something like that. So I'll make one and see how it goes. Then I'll make the second one. And uh, the nice thing is, is when it's finished, you can take this out, take the paper, renew it, t take this out, uh, take, take this out separately, and then get in and do it. I mean, unfortunately, we're running out of gas quickly. So I think I'll have to go up to Grants tomorrow and get a new bottle. <laughs>